okay so come to the second question second question is you have to draw 105 degree okay so similar method similar steps of construction here so first step let us draw a ray o a taking o as center and draw an arc of any radius which cut the ray o at the point b so similarly at first you draw a ray o a this one this ray o a okay after that you just take o as center and take any radius and with the compass you draw a draw an arc which arc will cut the ray o a at the point b okay now step 2 taking b as center draw an arc which the same radius and that arc cut the previous arc at the point c so now take the point b as center now draw an arc with the same radius that arc will be this arc so that arc cut the previous arc at the point c okay now step 3 taking c as center draw an arc with the same radius which cut the arc of step 1 at the point d so now come to the point c take the same radius and draw an arc that arc will cut the previous first arc will be at the point d okay so the first step is you just draw a ray oa after that you take o as center take any radius and draw an arc of a circle which arc will cut the ray oa at the point b next step you come to the point b take the same radius draw an arc which will cut the previous arc of the circle at the point c okay step 3 now go to the point c with the same radius as the as you <coughs> taken before draw an arc which will cut the arc of the step 1 at the point d okay now the step 4 is draw a ray om passing through the point c then angle a so now after that you just draw a ray om passing through the point c so this angle m o a is 60 degree similarly step 5 you draw a ray on through the point d then angle n o m will be 60 degree that means m o a 60 degree and n o m is 60 degree okay so next step 5 so step 6 uh, next taking c and d as centers and which the radius more than half of cd draw arcs which intersect at the point e so next one after joining the ray om and on then the next step is you just take the point c and d c and d as centers and take the radius more than half of cd more than half of cd and you draw two arcs one arc at the point c as taken as a center and one d as taken as a center so whenever you take the point c as center and taking the radius more than half of cd you draw an arc that arc will be this arc okay again come to the point d take the same radius more than half of cd and draw an another arc that arc will be this arc and that two arcs will intersect at the point e okay after that you just draw a ray op through the point e that op will intersect will cut the uh, arc of the circle of the step 1 at the point f okay that op passing through the point e and also cut the uh, arc of the circle at the point f okay so that o p is actually the angle bisector of angle n o m n o m was uh, 60 degree and o p is the angle bisector of angle that is angle n o p and angle p o m both are equal angles that means n o p and p o m equal angles n o m is 60 degree that means n o p and p o m are equal to 30 degree okay so already all of you know that this one is 60 degree and now you find that this one is 30 degree that means angle p o a equal to a 30 degree plus 60 degree that means p o a equal to angle p o a equal to 90 degree okay 
So this one. Now step eight. Next, taking D and F as center, draw arcs which the radius more than half of DF which intersect at the point H. So now again come to here. Now this D and F which is the point D and F as center and take more than half of DF. The radius more than half of DF and draw two arcs. When you take the points D as center and draw an arc with the radius more than half of DF, that arc will be this one. And when you go to the point F, take the point F as center, draw an arc, taking the radius more than DF, then that arc will be this again. That two arcs will cut, will intersect at the point H. Okay, this one. Now you join OQ, the ray OQ, draw the uh, ray OQ which passes through the point H. Okay, this ray OQ actually the angle bisector of the angle NOP. Okay. That means angle NOQ and QOP is equal and both are equal to the half of angle NOP. Okay. Already we find that angle NOP equal to what? 30 degrees. That means NOQ and QOP both are equal and equal to 15 degree. Okay. Clear. But already we find that angle POA is 90 degree. Now we find angle QOP equal to what? 15 degree. Okay. So look at uh, the angle QOA. QOA equal to what? QOP plus POA that means 15 degree plus 90 degree that means 105 degree. So angle QOA equal to 105 degree. So this one. So draw uh, NOP. So that's QOA equal to QOA uh, 15 degree plus 90 So on measuring you just use the protector and measure the angle QA you will get QA equal to 105 degree okay so this one is the figure and angle QOA this one is actually 105 degree okay